What What do you remember about Czechoslovakia? Did you go there? Yeah, we were in Czechoslovakia uh, with my wife. Uh, we went there as a visit, and um, <clears throat> they put us up in, this is during the war, mm -hmm. during the troubles with Russia. They put at a Russian hotel, mm -hmm. and of course there was a lot of noise, and so we complained, and then they knew that they shouldn't have done it, and so they put us to an American type of hotel, and then it was okay. And <clears throat> Uh, all I remember about Czechoslovakia was, or Prague, was that beautiful church we went to, mm -hmm. and the big gardens above the church. And uh, I remember sitting in a nightclub listening to nighttime music. We spoke to a man that was looking very sad, and he was a a dentist, and they took everything away from him, and oh, as he said, he was no longer a doctor. Hmm. And uh, in those days, it was a sad situation mm -hmm. in Czechoslovakia. I had some friends uh, we visited. I was interested in Czech gymnastics, but I never could get them. They weren't too well organized. And uh, they didn't. They didn't think they could come to the United States. Hmm. I think eventually they did. Uh, through the AAU, tried to bring them over mm -hmm. because they saw I was really doing a good job at Penn State, bringing teams up. So they thought they would try it. <laughs> it failed miserably <laughs> because the the Czech clubs in New York. They weren't organized, and they didn't have the capacity to have a big need to pay for expenses. Mm -hmm. yeah. hmm. But, you know, all those teams I brought over doesn't open up any thoughts about your business. <laughs> Unless it, no, it doesn't, because you didn't do it and I did. It's fun to hear about the history. Uh, it's fun to hear about the history, about like the, the, you know, that you were in Czechoslovakia during, uh, after the war, during the Cold War, yeah, and what it was like, because it's very different there now. Oh, the, yeah, it's, that's what I hear. Yeah. I remember uh, some little stupid things, like in the morning you'd hear the beer barrels rolling out of the trucks, and somebody told me that for breakfast they drink they drink beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they still they still drink more beer than any country in the world. So more beer per person. So it's very it's a very close part of the culture. I bet it is. So under communism they had to the pub was like the safe area. So they went and drank beer and they could talk about real ideas without having uh, the secret yeah. police listening in yeah, right. so so now they are um, they are sort of friends of the russians aren't they a little yeah more a little bit more, more than poland and um, more than romania and so forth mm -hmm. some russians have stayed there and they have uh, one town in particular is pretty much nothing but Russian people who have businesses and it's a little community. Oh, that's right. You were teaching there, weren't you? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. See, they didn't have that when I was there. Yeah. yeah. No, no weather. Yeah. The Russian town, the train goes from there all the way to Russia. The train. The train does yeah. from that Russian town that's, oh, yeah, that's make, still there. Yeah. But the uh, Czechs now are... Uh, they got uh, they got defenses for uh, atomic weapons that might be flying their way, mm -hmm. and the United States I think is helping. Yeah, that was a big controversy a few yeah, years yeah. ago. Yeah, while you were there. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what the story is now. Yeah.